Decades after a period of political turbulence, which cast Grenada at the heart of a passionate international debate about sovereignty, the seat of parliament encountered another major upheaval in 2004 with the decimation by Hurricane Ivan of its 18th century accommodations known as York House. A robust and elegant replacement would eventually crystallize as the final outcome of a keenly contested public competition. A new exemplary civic space that simultaneously encodes the island's architectural heritage and imparts assurances of stability and security. One that facilitates traditional processes but also expressively welcomes more progressive ideals of public engagement and accountability in governance. What makes a monument worthy is its ability to tell a story without words, when walls are brick and steel and plastered with meaning. When every design is a tribute and the space has a feeling of its own. Think of the architect as a painter before he paints. Imagination and inspiration, the foundation of creation. Over the last three decades, the loss of vital public spaces has become a concern. The market square now fully occupied by shops, the esplanade dominated by cruise ships and buses, the botanical gardens now the home of government offices. This, along with an increase in traffic and the need to restore historical buildings, requires a rethink of the urban model. The new Grenada House of Parliament seeks to redress this. The esplanade, courtyard, rampart and veranda which are familiar to the urban landscape of the town, were all deployed in the design. When a structure is built, what makes it great? What makes it stand out and worthy of praise? What makes it deserving of admiration? Is it the location or the dedication and patience when building? The precision of the builder or the design of the building? To promote a spirit of togetherness for its people and its place, references entrained within the collective psyche of Grenada were used to express the visual vocabulary of the building. These signifiers define the specificity of the design from a social and cultural perspective, in addition to framing the natural features of the landscape and sea that displays the ubiquitous beauty which the island has to offer. To understand the design of the new Grenada House of Parliament is to recognize that it's a civic monument and it's also a symbol of democracy. In order to capture the spirit of the people and its place, there were certain tectonic elements that were incorporated. Fortification, the peristyle columns, the nutmeg-shaped chamber, the ceiling chamber sculpture, and the rain screens. Regarding fortifications, we use stone-clad walls to signify the original fort buildings of St. George's. Another element used were the peristyle columns. These are reflective of buildings of antiquity, and in our case, we term it as a temple of democracy. At the center of the building is the nutmeg-shaped chamber, signifying Grenada's agricultural production. Grenada is known as the Isle of Spice. Hanging inside of the chamber is a ceiling sculpture which is reflective of the boat building history of our sister island of Caracol. To make a connection with the natural environment, we used material which allowed for light and air to penetrate within the space. All of these tectonic elements brought together create a building with a unified whole. It's a building that inspires and creates a visceral experience 
by harnessing the natural environment, light, openness, and transparency. The building was founded on the motif of fortifications, an appropriate choice considering that the forts were used to provide protection for the town in the colonial period and has since borne witness to incarceration and revolution in recent history. The new parliament building, built in its fortified form, thus transposes the notion of protecting the nation's democracy. Similar in stature to the fortifications of St. George's dating to the colonial period, for example, Fort George and Richmond Hill, the new parliament building is constructed on the fortified walls of an 18th century battery overlooking St. George's from a strategic vantage point. Architecture has the power to shape, transform and unite across cultural and geographical lines and social perspectives. The new Grenada House of Parliament serves as such a conduit which frames and recontextualizes contemporary architecture for Grenada and by extension, the Caribbean. By adopting a position to look inward rather than outward for inspiration, it is intended that the project will give rise to a new brand of building, shaped by the history and modernity of the region and one that will excite and enrich the lives of local people while enlightening those beyond its borders. The iconic image of the Grenada House of Parliament is clearly reflective of the importance of its function. An extrapolation of historical references that include the Parthenon, a Greek temple dating to the classical period of ancient Greece, and the peristyle that serves as an open filter an invitation to all to this temple of democracy. With the demand set in motion by changes to the global ecology, a number of green initiatives were deployed in the design of the building. These include rainwater harvesting, solar energy, insulation of the building envelope, the use of a building management system to monitor the energy consumption of the building, among other technologies. In addition to targeting these sustainable and environmentally responsible practices, the building has also taken the design lead for resilience to hazards and posits a new vision of architecture for the island. As a small island developing state, Grenada is disproportionately affected by the impacts of climate change. As we were considering the design of the building, it was important for us to utilize sustainable measures that would make the building more resilient. These include things like collecting rainwater off the roof, using photovoltaic panels, energy efficient systems, and hurricane resistant glazing. Do you know what makes a structure great? You know a structure is great when it makes you feel at home. When the splendor is simple, but it stands out like a candle kindled in a dark room. What makes a structure great is what it represents, a people, ideals, vision, and tradition. It's great when it's a symbol, a symbol of hope, a symbol of democracy, a symbol of freedom.